welcome to part nine. Uh, well, now we're done with that world, thank God. Well, we have to get Chunky Kong, then we'll come back. But anyway, we must return the key to Kalimzy so we can unlock a new world, so we can enter it and have the stuff. I'm going to my favorite world next, actually. But first, we must be DK for some reason. I forget why I picked him. <coughs> but, oh, yes, we must go after Warpad 3. I should have done this in the beginning, but I forgot. <sighs> Sounds wrong. I'll just do it again over there faster. And right over here is the Warp Pad 3. This area will become important later on in the game. Like halfway through it, and then right near the end, it'll be important. Besides that, we must go to go to Clumsy and you know, get that key in the lock. tell you, when I was younger, that little platform up there that I'm running towards, up there, a little bridge kind of thing, when I was younger, for, my first instinct was to go to King Cruel's ship and, you know, fight him, but I realized now you have to be all the worlds to get to him. And so, oh yeah, I just did a jump cut there because I paused. I was coming back here, I don't know why the Dazzle took it like that. I don't know if it's the N64 in general, or it was just the Dazzle. TV is fine. Well, these lead to Snide HQ. But, down below there, we see a cage. We're gonna go there first. Cameras aren't really working for me here. I'm like, trying to get lined up so I can jump. you have seen my normal channel, which is AF67, you better check it out now, or else you'll be dead. Um, <laughs> it's a joke. I question people, should I do an LP on Mega Man X4 for the Sega Saturn? Yeah, Sega Saturn, not the PS1 version everyone knows and loves. <laughs> um, a lot of people said yes, so I guess I'll you know, give it a shot. When I played as Mega Man originally, I had a really hard time. Oh, there's a battle pad, we can't get that yet, and there's a... say, oh no, you got to hack to beat this guy, he's like, it's so impossible. Somehow, after 20 tries of beating him, I figured out his pattern, and I beat him, the final one, uh, the third phase of the first or second, without getting hit once. Not showing off, but I really just noticed that. But yeah, once you figure out the pattern, which you'll see in my LP, after this is probably through or done, I'll show you that. Now I just circle around here to make sure I'm not missing anything. But uh, now we can activate warp head. Okay, we can go here. Yeah, this is a little tiny hub for the entrance to Frantic Factory. We need 15 bananas. Whoops. Alright, I have 30. 
32. Okay, enjoy this cutscene here. It's kind of funny. Well, I'm going to watch TV. I wish you could be as steady calm. The way he's flying. Especially right here. Sorry if you hear that little static sound from me pulling the mic in. I know I'm just having allergy problems. I really want you to hear it all the time. And here's where we get our faithful friend Chunky. Help me, Chunky, the dogs in like heights. Yeah, gotta get him. I'll be the first two warp heads because you're gonna need them later. And there's a blue switch there. Probably the only few times I'll actually get that guy directly. This will open a, like a valve looking thing for like a bank kind of looking thing, if you know what I mean. I'll open that up and then we'll be able to go to the rest of the factory. And that's good. Die. Yeah, you can't kill them with your regular attacks. Unless you have bombs or Chunky's uh, super punch, which is later. And this. Scientist so give that will have to hit another one of those types of switches that we first hit. The blue one, later down the road. I just really like this world. I like the factory theme to it. It just it looks pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing interesting here. Just some. As for Tiny, we'll eventually get to her later. Oh, I got, I got really fed up with waiting because I just ground pounded. Yeah, of course, we're gonna need those, obviously, for later. Probably one of the only like normal gremlins in the level. Whoa, lady! Miss. one of the more dangerous areas in the world. Especially when the power is actually on. Right now the power is off. Miss! More bad war. You know what, let's go back. The camera's not really working out for that. Now we're in Chunky Kong's area. Oh look, we have one of those barrel... Wait. Oh, let's hit that switch first, sorry. And then we'll open that gate we saw earlier in the beginning of the level. Oh, look at another DK barrel mini game. I didn't cut anything out because actually I pulled this off from the first shot. Obtained. Somehow I didn't miss that. I was like, <gasps> got it. I have to take the right way. Yeah, so I get the bananas first because this is going to be a 100% run. I'll try my best. Overshoot there. And yeah. I, I, I'm familiar with the first three worlds. Kind of the fourth one. I wouldn't say 100% on that one. The arcade machine. No! <laughs> um, anyway. I'm more familiar with the uh, first three worlds. The fourth world, kind of. The fifth world, which is, I think, like a jungly mushroom area. Uh, not so much. The Ice World, I don't remember much of that at all. And the Seventh World, which is like the ca castle in the sky kind of thing. Or haunted castle. I know that. I love that world. Because of its atmosphere. I'm gonna get in. Where'd you go? Uh, where are you? Oh, there you are. Oh yeah, it goes around, alright. Pounded! Let's go get, uh, refilled. What the? Go! Oh. There we go. I thought you get, a new, like, a new power-up here, but you just get more instruments. No power-ups. You don't find more extras. Anyway, to Cranky's lab, where we actually get something. Uh, 
comes from this telegram. We'll need that to play the arcade machine. <laughs> There's not much more to read from the text, so what the heck. Might as well get all the power-ups for the characters while I'm here. Simeon Spring, you know that one little uh, symbol of Diddy Kong we saw earlier in Snide HQ in the hub world? The main world of Crane Cool's like ship? That's what it's for. We'll see what it does later. Let's get tinies, or lankies. We'll get, we'll get tinies anyway. And he has exactly enough, so I was like, oh, thank god. Baboon Balloon. Well, that means he can turn to a balloon on the symbols on the little four pads that has his face. Pad, or whatever you call that, four pads. If it has his face on there, you push the Z button, I think it is, and you know, he'll turn to an inflatable balloon like you saw in the TK intro. And, you know, fly for about five or, ten, five or seven seconds. And Tiny's is what makes her the easiest to handle. Is ponytail twirl or random harness. That makes her s so she can like fly in the air for a short time. That makes it easy for the third boss, which I haven't even recorded fighting yet. Oh jeez. I'm a little behind, but I might as well get all these recordings out of the way and then start. Oh yeah, that's how it works. Back to DK. Oh yeah, there are two normal ones, or three normal ones. Chunky mm -hmm. uh, Kong, Kong has a text. You can hear him talk, but I know how all the like, Well, he has one, but it's hard to get him to say it, because he's in the middle of uh, the open space. Oh, you piece of crap. Run, run away, run away. Chunk of the hunt into that little area down there. And here we go. Everyone had troubles with it. I know they did. When they were little. The arcade machine. I cut out like seven or eight deaths. So I saved you about like five minutes worth of that fail. And here we go. Yeah, 1981. It's like the original Donkey Kong game. But this one's really. It's like. Not as nice. Because it'll only give you one life. After you beat it twice, because you have to beat it twice, uh, you have like two or three lives, so... I'm just trying to make this as far as I can. Just follow what I do here. I mean, it changes compared to the enemies and barrels and stuff, but... Try it the way I'm doing it. That's weird. It wasn't in the Game Boy Advance port. I understand that.
Lil die now that I gained an extra life up top on the right. Top right. So, I was kind of nervous uh, when I was doing this part. Basically, on this last level, all I gotta do is hit those yellowish things on the far left and right sides of the screen, and Donkey Kong will fall to his death. Kind of. Combo! Kinda. Come on. I wanna kill ya. I'm gonna kill ya. Come on. There you go. One left. I'm sorry for the big cutoffs here and there. I mean, I'm having allergy problems. That's why I should take some, uh, advantage trouble before I ever even start some of these commentaries. And we're done! I almost died a little bit ago when I jumped over the fire guy thing. Did we win? And, uh, yeah. And just to let you know, I just kind of said ask it. Oh, did you think I was going to ride the ass? No, my middle, my uh, middle name is uh, Scott. Our first official banana in fact, frantic factory. But, but wait. Spock, now you've warmed up. How about trying to win a unique special prize by completing it again? Just two coins to play. Yeah, my arse. <sighs> Gotta watch this scene all over again. So, if you play the Game Boy Advance version or the normal one, on the top right it's obviously L02 or level 2, basically. It's just a difficult version, or a more difficult version of this original. Did you see Donkey Kong type clip behind the end symbol? Or Nintendo coin? <laughs> Run! Go, 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 go! I've noticed it's better with the uh, N64 analog stick, or thumbstick, whatever you want to call it, for this uh, 2D arcade game. I don't know why, I just find it better. Double jump! Ooh. Go, 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 go! Uh. I know I'm, I'm cutting some close calls here, aren't I? Oh my god, I was I got lucky there. <laughs> I was trying to push up, it wasn't working. I was like, oh my god, go up! But luckily we got up. Uh probably the easiest level in the level in the entire uh arcade level game here. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, people. But... This is fire. A-holes just keep coming out and I thought... Give some strategy. Continue on, which we will. Fail! I was like, oh my god, face palm, we're done. But, I just realized that in our life. Anyway, from the second level, there's a ladder, like at the top there. There's like a ladder going up there and two extra ladders. You never actually climb that second ladder, the low ladder going to the end coin. So, what the heck? Oh, I hate these! It does get annoying. It really, really does. Come on. Come on. 
can do it. Go, 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 go! So close. Alright. Wasn't you in part 10? Do I win? Do I lose? I don't know. See you in part 10.